All right, guys, we got the Thermodyne Systems watts meter hooked up here, one of these little inline uh, data logger meter thingamajigs. That one hooked up in line here. As you can see, this is 130 amp Thermodyne Systems meter, and it's cycling through, and I just turned it on. It's 10 o'clock at night. No, actually it's uh, 9 o'clock. That's an hour fast. I haven't set the time for it. But, you know, in a few weeks it's not going to matter. It'll be right. Uh, just to let you know, see, it's the battery voltage. Dang, this extension cord out of my way. The battery voltage on here is 12.51. Battery voltage over here. And this thing is 12.5. So it's off by a tenth of a volt. There it goes. Okay, so it's probably like five hundredths of a volt that it's off because it's almost in line with this one. Solar is disconnected. Here's my solar. You can see there. Here's my solar. These are the three wires coming in off the solar panels up on the roof and the one in the front of the garage. I have 500 watts in solar. It's disconnected here. Here's the positive coming off the diode. Which is right there so it's solar is out of play here it all goes into one 12 volt battery my big six volt batteries froze and took a shit they were used garbage anyway not garbage but they were just used so right now the way I have this set up is it comes in off of the wind turbine off the rectifier into the meter comes out of the meter into the 12 volt and then it goes up into that fuse, that disconnect right there, for now. And then down to the battery. Negative side comes off the rectifier, into the meter, out of the meter, up into here, which is in the, my negative input, which then goes through a maze of copper, and then dumps out here. Oh, wait a minute. How does it go? And then it comes out here. This is the output down to the battery. And then uh, through load diversion and all that crap, it gets dumped into my parts washer. So that's that project has kind of fell to the wayside. So it's a mess. But I just want to show you right now we have between 8 and 11 mile an hour wind. It's nothing to write home about. It's... I'm getting the same power out of this right now that I was the Windy Nation, which is almost nothing. Um, I, I may be an amp I'd get at 10 mile an hour with that. But if the winds were that light, it wouldn't really su sustain power. It was just kind of like fluctuating between a half an amp and an amp, which is, you know, a nice trickle charge. But I just wanted to bring this to your attention that this was lit. We're going to data log throughout the night. So, because I know the wind is supposed to pick up overnight. So I figured, let me get this hooked up. And we'll see what happens if we get anything. All right, guys, here we go. <clears throat> we got some pretty heavy winds coming in later on today, or well, later on tonight. It's uh, the next day now. It's 10 to 5 Eastern Time, p.m., 4.50 p.m. And I just wanted to give you a little bit of a shot here. Let me... Apologize about my stiffy, stuffy nose here. I can't help it. Nope, oh, there goes a garage light. Okay. Uh, there goes both of them. I came out here for some reason, and my the breaker was popped. I don't know why. There's nothing. But yeah, just wanted to give you a little bit of give you an update here. This is my current power generation overnight in the past 14, 16 hours or whatever it's been. Um, so I started it last night around 9 o'clock at night. So it's been about 20 hours. Not quite the full 24 hours, but there's been, uh, let's see, 200 and, what was that, 194 watt peak, I think it was. Yeah, 194.6 peak watt. Um, I was 14 amps, and I was checking the winds. We had a gust, I think it was around 17 or 18 mile an hour, 
a little bit of a gust that lasted for a little while. But that's what I got out of it. And it was an east wind, so it was going through that big tree out front. Or, well, technically it's out back, out on the side of the garage. There's that really big oak tree. And uh, all day today we haven't really broken 10, 12 mile an hour. Oh, there you go. There's a little 1 amp peak, or 1 amp... Uh, that's probably a 10 mile an hour wind. I'm guessing. I don't have my my uh, weather station out here right now. I just figured I'd come out and give you a quick update and let you know and show you what's going on here. So we'll kind of just read off what we had here. So it was been, it generated power for a total of 36 minutes and 50 seconds. And in that time, it generated 22.4 watt hours, uh, 1.7 and change amp hours with a total. So it, it gives a, this meter is really nice because it gives you amp hours, watt hours, the time elapsed for how much, how long it's generated that time for. So that's over 20, 20 some hours. It, and it only generated power for 36 minutes, 37 minutes. Because I haven't had that many, or that high of a wind at all today. It's been very, very light wind. It's just a, just a light breeze, really. I mean, it's barely even shaking the trees, but the turbine hasn't stopped. The turbine hasn't stopped spinning, so I mean, it's, it's definitely able to turn with the lightest wind. It's not a, it's not a, it doesn't take 15 mile an hour winds to start it up, which is really nice. Uh, it starts up just like the Windy Nation did. It, it started up very easily, but this one actually starts a little bit easier, I think, because it has more blades, naturally. It has seven blades as opposed to five. All right, guys, we've got the ladder down. And it, I just turned the brake off, so now it's spinning. Just started spinning again. See the cups. It's not not windy out here at all. I mean, you can see the tree in the back how it's swaying, but it might be picking up again. But. I don't know if you could hear it. Ooh, it's getting foggy. Okay, so it's... Yeah, the weather's starting to get shitty again. I figured I'd come out and just give you a, a quick view. It's about 40 degrees outside right now. It's... Okay, let's see. Maybe we can get it to stop. Probably not. We have some pretty severe weather, I guess, blowing in. Um, so I figured I would take this opportunity to get a quick, um, ooh, lightning. Yeah, we got a thunderstorm coming. Okay. There you go. There's the kind of power output of this turbine. I mean, you're seeing a steady 16 mile an hour wind, and it was putting out a pretty, uh, pretty steady amperage. Now, granted, it did fluctuate around a little bit, but you're gonna have that. I mean, holy shit! That was 404 watts. I'm just gonna round it up. To the tenth of a watt. I don't care about the tenth of a watt. But uh, these are gonna be very, very turbulent winds because there is a large squall line coming in right now, and it's 
So you can see the, the window fluctuate from basically stall to like max out. I think the highest wind, let's see here. Here we go. It's got this weird chatter. But you know what I think that is? I think that's my diversion load kicking in. And like I said, it's very turbulent. So you can see the direction. See how it's jumping around? It's all coming out of the south mostly. But now see how it's up out of the east before it was down over here? So it's it's very, very, very turbulent wind because of it being a storm. It's not a steady wind like we normally get. But it's the Tomorrow is going to be a steady wind because this massive cyclone that's blowing through is going to be bringing us a lot of wind apparently. So, and if it's an if it's an east northeast or even a northerly wind, it'll be very steady. But like uh, bursts, gusts, the tur no turbine does well with bursts and gusts. I don't care who makes it because they're too quick. Like, a, like this is like a steadier wind. It may not be a straight on wind, but it's a steadier wind. Yeah, see the, uh, I'm really surprised how quiet this thing is. Especially at the higher RPMs. I wish it was daylight so I can go out and check it out. probably cut out all this dead time where it's not generating because it's kind of boring to watch it especially without me talking oh, and just as a side note the time on that is not right it's actually uh, 807 alright guys I think the wind for now has kind of died out uh, I think what I'll do is I'll give it a few more hours couple hours maybe and then I'll uh, come back out because right now it's just really not that eventful I mean I'm getting lesser winds that are steady now so I think once the front blows through probably have a better chance then of bringing you higher wind video of this thing yeah, so this storm's getting closer. The wind is picking up just a tad. The lightning and thunder is more frequent. And the rain is getting heavier. Much heavier. And uh, you can see the rainfall right there. I mean, it's... Well, that was much more than that, but I have unplugged it. So that was pretty impressive there, huh? Seeing that uh, 34 amp peak, 482 watts at 12.3 volts, or 12 point, yeah, whatever it is right now. Not doing anything now, but Alright guys, well, it's so uneventful right at the moment, I think what I'm going to do is shut her down for now. 
Okay guys, I am back out here with the meter. I don't have my weather station out right now. I brought it back inside because I wanted to be able to keep an eye on that, but I had a 30 mile an hour wind blow in just not too long ago. And I just want to let you see what it cycles through. It's been generating power for quite a while now. It, the wind dipped out when I was walking out, so I knew it wasn't going to show much power. But holy crap. I'll let it cycle through a couple more times here so you can just check out some of the recorded data. I'm not really too concerned with the power that it's generating at the moment. My main concern is the that I wanted to show you the the logged data from literally just a few minutes ago. It's probably 8:24 to 8:34 is when the stronger winds came through, which was literally two or three minutes ago. So there we go. We have uh, 37.59 amps. Uh, what was that? 537 watts. 537.8 watts. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That was like a. That was pretty good, I have to say. Here's another gust. A little bit of thunder. A lot of thunder. It's down. It's pouring down rain. Water is just gushing into the garage because uh, I think the drains are blocked out there. It's all right. I got drains in here, and there's there's nothing on the ground that's of any value that can get wet. Yeah, I just figured I'd come out real quick and show you that. So we'll see you. See you again in a little while.